Well, this here is the Eccentrics Dream, and I think this is a uh, very interesting puzzle. I have not solved it yet. Um, I'll give it a shot here on camera, but I'm not sure I'll be able to solve it quickly. Um, this is a uh, puzzle by Pavel Curtis, and I'm going to read you this information here because I think it's, it's, it's neat. It's very interesting, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this uh, puzzle. It's called the Eccentrics Dream. So it comes in this CD case, right? It has this frame with Eccentrics Dream on there. And it's got these uh, five pieces. And the goal is to fit all five of these pieces in the frame. Okay. <laughs> and I've played with this for quite a while, actually. And uh, I've had uh, no luck. Um, I've had no luck. That, so I, I, you know, I'll play with it a little bit so you, you can see me playing with it, but uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to solve it because, um, you know, this cross piece here, I, I'll talk about a couple of my ideas uh, when I start playing with it here in a second. But let me read you this information because I, I think it's interesting. Uh, Eccentrics Dream, uh, one quiet night I had a dream. A dream of a puzzle. What else? A puzzle to confuse and bewilder you. Just fit all five innocent seeming pieces into the simple, perfectly square tray. So uh, Pavel Curtis says here, back in 2004, I was lucky enough to discover a new little psychological blind spot and I exploited it in the design of a deceptively simple tray packing puzzle called Sleazier. Now, I've never tried Sleazier. Uh, I think it is available on his website. I've been thinking of getting it because, uh, you know, apparently that came before this. This puzzle, Eccentric Stream, was inspired by Sleazier. Anyway, I introduced it, uh, he means uh, Sleazier, uh, I introduced it at the 2005 International Puzzle Party. And it has proven to be one of the most enduringly popular of all my designs. Now, for those of you who don't know, the International Puzzle Party, and uh, you know, is uh, is an invite-only um, puzzle event. So uh, obviously, Pavel Curtis was invited, and he introduced uh, Sleazier uh, in 2005. Anyway, so ten years on, as I was lying in bed one evening, an idea suddenly came to me—a rather mean idea, if truth be told for another tray packing puzzle that might rival my earlier work. I sketched it on a pad of paper, went to sleep, and then got caught up in other more pressing matters. The idea languished there for months until I came on that paper again by accident. This time I explored the idea in more detail and hit upon how to make it real. I dashed off a prototype and started letting friends try to solve it. The results were very gratifying to this slightly sadistic puzzle designer. And now I'm delighted to bring the design to you. Uh, you can look at some of his puzzles there, Pavel's Puzzles, uh, pavelspuzzles.com. And if you go to slash eccentric, you'll find the eccentric stream. There's, a, there's an executive uh, edition of this, which is with clear uh, acrylic. Anyway, so uh, let's play with it a little bit. Uh, now, I've explored a number of different things here. Uh, obviously, these pieces here, they fit nicely. You know, I can get these to to fit in there pretty good. I mean, look at that, right? That looks kind of nice. Well, what the heck do I do with this? So, uh, and there's different ways that I can fit these pieces in the frame. Um, you know, I, I, I even tried going sideways. You know, it's something... Uh, you know, sneaky, you know, to, to go sideways. It, it, you are wasting a lot of space, but I don't know. One thing that caught my attention is what he said here. It's a psychological blind spot. I've been thinking about this psychological blind spot and I don't know what it is. Well, clearly it's work. Uh, it's working on me because I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So, you know, I, I've done all kinds of little things like this. 
So these four pieces fit fine. It's always uh, fitting this in. Now I, you know, I've done it in a couple of different ways where the the X fits in nicely, right? But I don't know. It's it's the I mean the cross. Uh, it's the cross that bothers me. Uh, I have a friend who was playing with this puzzle and they didn't gel with this green piece here. Uh, but for me, it's the cross for some reason. The cross bothers me. So I thought, okay, psychological blind spot. Maybe uh, maybe the cross goes like this. All right? So, um, you know, the pieces don't, obviously, they're not, they're not going to block every space in the tray. But, but uh, what I'm showing you here, I, I've tried it all. <laughs> I've tried it all. And... Um, I'm not sure what the heck to do with this. Um, I can't remember now what, I, what I've done, but you know, I've tried it in different ways and, and couldn't couldn't get heads heads or tails out of it. I mean, I, I'm just wondering what is this psychological, um, you know, blind spot? I mean, because these obviously fit great there. Anyway, so that's what I thought, and and then I thought maybe maybe the pieces go go, go sideways, you know, go um, I don't know, go in an awkward way. That's not awkward at all, but it makes sense, right? You want to do something like this, even though it's taking a lot of space here, because the, this won't fit in there. Uh, you want to do something like this to to save as as much space as possible. I even thought maybe one of these pieces goes askew while the other ones are flat, you know, and, and, but there's no, you know, if I, there's no way, at least with this arrangement, that I can get that piece in there. To me, this cross here is key, and I have thought of putting the cross in the center. That was one thing I tried. I, I don't know, I mean, maybe, right? Uh, I don't know, something... It doesn't quite fit in the center, actually, but I don't know. Maybe something like that. No, that doesn't work. I can't remember what I did. Now, I did something with... Uh... This is a tough one. This is a real tough one, uh, it, which which made me very interested in getting uh, sleazier. Because if this uh, eccentric dream was inspired by sleazier, I need to get my hands on sleazier. Uh, but first, I want to try to, to solve this. But uh, I just, I can't, I can't seem to do it. Now, obviously, at some point, I'll solve it. But I have not um, realized what this uh, psychological blind spot is. Yeah, uh, like I said, I have tried putting you know, this X at a weird angle. And then, you know, trying to fit these pieces even, you know, at, a, at some kind of weird angle. But that just takes more space. It doesn't, doesn't help me. And I can't... Um... So I'm not sure. I mean, maybe you're, you're watching this. Maybe you see something that I don't see. If you do, you know, go get the puzzle and, uh, and work it out. But... It's it's a puzzle that every now and then you know in the in the morning I, I go sit out outside and um, and I watch the sunrise I get up early you know I take this little puzzle with me I'll play with it while I'm drinking my coffee I play with it a little bit I give it a few minutes you know but uh, and I've done that for you know many times and I have not stumbled upon the solution or figured out what this blind spot might be so yep I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it at that because like I said I, I don't think I'll be able to solve this I mean sometimes you know you put these things here and it almost looks like that would fit there but it doesn't you know could this go in there not quite doesn't quite do it. Maybe this here, like that. 
I mean, I can do that, but then there's no room for this uh, blue piece here. And honestly, I think that would be too easy a solution, right? If this piece would just pop in there somewhere, it would be too easy a solution. I don't see where the psychological um, blind spot would be in a situation like this. So uh, trying to f do the puzzle this way is just uh, a little bit of a waste of time because I, I just don't see what the psychological blind spot would be. Anyway, that's what I think. Maybe the solution is very easy. It's just, uh, you know, like, like he says, it's a blind spot and you just don't see it. Maybe it's one of those solutions where you go, oh, I can't believe it was, it was that simple and I just didn't see it. I'm excited to find out what the solution to this puzzle is. Um, now, like I said, obviously I'm going to try to solve it. Um, I am going to solve it. I am going to solve it. At some point I'll solve it. But I'm very curious to see what the solution to this is because this is uh, definitely giving me a, a run for my money here. I, I just I just don't know what else to do here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. This is the uh, Eccentrics Dream. Uh, Wow, if you've solved it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like puzzles like this, uh, I, you know, we don't have this puzzle specifically. If you want this one, go to uh, pavelspuzzles.com. But if you like puzzles like this, uh, check out dualbraingames.com. We got some uh, unique and exclusive puzzles there. You can check them out. But this is the Eccentric Stream, and there you have it. I'll solve it at some point, but not today.